Aha. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Software Incorporated. My name is Weasel, and this is probably my third attempt, if I'm not mistaken, to make this work. Uh, I'm not perfect at this game. This is a new version, Alpha 9 of the game. You probably watched an earlier version of me playing this. Um, if not, welcome to the series. We're gonna be starting a new software company. What is the game about? Well, developing software uh, and, you know, getting rich, basically. You get to create your own character, which is very exciting. Uh, the look really doesn't matter. I'm gonna go ahead with Weasel. And uh, the most important things to is is to make it as accurate as possible to your real life persona. Yeah, that's that, that seems about right. Uh, our company name shall be Software People. I mean, right now I'm just one people, but uh, you know what? Software people might actually be a real company, for all I know. Oh well, don't they have that disclaimer? Uh, any coincidence, any names uh, that exist in the real world are coincidental and uh, should be treated as such. Something, something. Anyways, uh, we're gonna give ourselves some personality treats. Um, how about I'm gonna be introverted and optimistic. I like that. I, I can do that. So I'm a fast learner. Um, somewhere between independent and social, and I get a little bit more stressed easily, I guess. That sounds about right. Anyways, uh, you can give yourself some skills there as well, which are somewhat important. Uh, I'm gonna make myself a fairly decent programmer, designer, and artist, because I have to do all of these things uh, in the beginning. I'm not gonna be a good uh, lead, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of lead skill. But for the most part, I want to be programmer and designer. Uh, design, I'm going to specialize on system. Code, I'm going to specialize on system. Or for, for that matter, I could just be a 2D specialist. Let's, let's go with that. Not that it is super important in the beginning for contract work. But we're going to get there. We're going to do two days per month. You can set that to one day per month. That will make it not really go... F that makes the time go faster. But it's actually a little bit harder because you're going to have less time to develop software. Um, anyways, we're gonna do two days per month. We're gonna start with a regular amount of money, uh, medium difficulty and environment. I'd like to be in a desert. That sounds fun. All right, we're starting in the year 1980 and yeah, really in the middle of the desert. That's great. I will try to do my best to explain the game as best as I can if you have not yet had a chance to watch someone play or played it yourself. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna build your own office building. You cannot yet rent. Uh, you will be able to rent in the future. It's like announced for the next alpha, alpha 10 that would be. Uh, nope, you're gonna build your own one and we're gonna build a little room. Um, roughly this size. May nah, let's make it a little bit bigger. I always run out of space it seems, okay in the beginning. Uh, we want to go compact because we still also pay rent. It's it's fairly odd. You do both things. Ne never fully understood that. Anyways, uh, we need a door. That's always a good one. And some windows to let some daylight in. Nice wide window. Ooh, yes, this looks good. You'd be surprised. Uh, the little details do make a difference. Okay, we're gonna get a nice, ooh, beautiful glass table. Yes, I'm, I'm shelling out a little bit of extra cash here. Uh, because it improves the environment, um, or at least, you know, my mood. Then again, I just realized that my character uh, doesn't really get affected by that. I'm always going to have high efficiency in the beginning. All right, we're going to put some nice room colors in. I like to go, oops, that's the exterior wall. Um, I like to go with a darker blue. It's really not relevant. I just like to go with that mm, like this because it hides the dirt so well. That's fairly important, I think. Uh, we're gonna need a radiator when it gets cold. Not that I expect it to get cold in the desert. So we're gonna put a fan up here, which is, it is fairly loud and would really affect me personally if I was sitting underneath of it, but for now it's it's not important. It's a little bit of make-believe right now. Um, yeah, we're gonna put a plant in and we're gonna put a light into the room. Just, oops, sure, a water cooler. That's, that's totally what I wanted. I wanted a light. I'm gonna get a water cooler later. All right, Sue, perfect. First day, uh, we have like 5,000 bucks left on our account. Let's let's move that back a little bit now that I look at it. And also let's put an inbox on here so we uh, you know get a little bit of a boost as well. So what are we going to do? We're not gonna be able to develop our own software right off the bat. Uh, this is taking, would take way too long. The quality would be horrible. I had to learn the hard way. Uh, we should be focusing on contract work because we can make a good amount of money. So we have logistics applications. 
which are great. Uh, the expected quality is horrible, beautiful, and uh, that's fine. We, we don't care about that. We're going to accept the work. And now our core team will work on this. Who is our core team? That's basically just my own character because that's where he's assigned to. Teams are very important in this game. Uh, so important that I'm actually going to start working on this right now. Uh, there's going to be basically three or four, uh, what would you call it, disciplines. Design, programming, artists, uh, art, and marketing. So for now, I think I'm a programmer. So I'm going to create uh, a team for the programmer, a team for designer. Oops, no, no, now I have one that's called team name. That that makes no sense. And artists. We should also have marketing. So right now I'm assigned to marketing, which makes no sense. That's just the naming. Uh, I'm my own employee, so we're gonna change the team. And I think I'm a coder. So we're gonna go under programmers. Not that we have a designer right now, but yes. Programming seems to be my strong suit. I'm definitely able to do multiple things right now. Um, so we're gonna assign this project, which is called City Logistics Application for City Carrot Incorporated, to our programmers. That that would be me. Excellent. Uh, right now I'm doing the design process. I want to say, which is fine. Uh, and then we're gonna switch to development, which is now the alpha. That is when we're gonna code all the features in that we specified in the design phase. And as you can see, there's a certain number you need to reach to. Well, yeah get lucky um, to reach that. I'm also going to have to turn on the crunch mode, which is a thing you can do, because right now there is a, uh, yeah, it's no point um, to not have that on because I'm just treating myself, you know, horribly. So if I'm a little bit faster that way, so be it. Okay, good. So we reached the number we want. Let's promote it. Yes, out of the alpha phase, delay a little bit. It switches into beta and we're releasing. Ba-bam! With outstanding quality. The quality might actually have been good. I don't know. Usually you would want to fix some bugs, but since the expected quality here is horrible, we can save some time and uh, do that. Okay, I'm going to accept the work. Excuse me. Ba-bam! And let the programmers do their thing. Eventually, I'd like to get more people uh, into my team to help working on the contracts. That would be excellent. But we're going to have to hire someone and I would like to have some more cash monies in my bank. Because money, definitely one of those factors that uh, uh, will break your neck in this game. That Basically the only factor that will break your neck in this game. Alright, so we're in the alpha, we're going to promote this now. Delay, beta, yeah. Screw the delay phase and release. ba -bam! Extra money. We're really good at our job, that, that I can say. So, I think it's time to hire someone. To hire uh, a uh, programmer, we have a programmer. Let's hire a designer. Uh, systems, sure, sure. Uh, overall skill, specialization, and we're gonna go for personality. Personality is somewhat important as well. Actually, personality. Let's move that down, and we're gonna we're gonna spend two thousand. We're gonna spend a good amount of money on this because I want to hire someone good. All right, skill. Lena Harris. Lena Harrison. Pretty good at designing. I like what I'm seeing. Now, you can do the part you haven't spent money on uh, and, you know, look at the individual person, see how the personality lines up. All right, looks good. Compatibility, currently not available. Let's see what the compatibility is with the programmers. Normal. Hmm, that's fine. Uh, we kind of want to look what it looks on our designers because that's what you're going to work with. You are a cocky snob. Oh boy. Um, how does Vito look like? A little bit better at coding, but otherwise completely useless. Uh, yeah, they're really bad at coding. All right, Lana Harrison, you will be hired. It's fine because you're going to be in your own own team. Uh, I know I have limited funds available right now, but I definitely do want to hire my first designer. Uh, slowly ramp up those projects, uh, those teams, and have them specialize on certain things. I think that's a pretty good idea. Um, at least. <laughs> <laughs> that is my plan right now, because the last time the stuff I did didn't really work out. All right, so we're going to need more furniture. I know right now they're in their own teams. Not, not, oops, not a friend of uh, that to have them all in, their sa in the same room because noise and whatnot. But so be it. All right, so designers get, I think, drawing template makes no sense. We're going to give them an inbox. Should help the designers as well. 
Um, you can assign rooms to these things as well. I'm gonna put a shelf in here for boosting it, and because food is an important thing that you need to take care of, we're gonna throw a vending machine into this room as well. Right, oh, whoops, that's not gonna work. Right over here. I'm also tempted to take that ceiling fan off, but let's let's see how things go. Our employee's not gonna be here right off the bat. Um, oh, you're not working because we don't have a project right now. All right, no problem. Logistics application seems fine. Um, having a designer right now would be great. Um, we're gonna assign designers to work on that as well. And let's go ahead and accept the work to do that. Perfect. So I'm just designing it on my own, even though we would have, ah, no, actually our designer's gonna come in today. And yeah, there's too many teams in one of your rooms. Yeah, they will walk for their own offices. That's that's just how it's going to be from the beginning. But there you go. All right, let's start developing. Now, she's not very effective at programming, or actually not effective at all. So I feel like I'm going to disable that, and we're going to start and grab another contract. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? Um, this looks good. Another embedded system, horrible quality, and we're going to just let the designers work on it, except ba bomb. So she's now currently designing chicken fat while I am as a programmer working on uh, finishing up the alpha. So this should allow us to run more or less two projects at the same time. All right, promote this. Yes. Um, chicken fat. We're going to develop this now and we're going to assign the programmer to it. Ba -bah! And I guess we can just like go right into the beta and release with outstanding quality, yes, because we don't care about bugs, because the expected quality for now is horrible. Ah, isn't that wonderful? So, she again is kind of, well, not working, so we're gonna go ahead and say, uh, we're gonna make an, uh, take another uh, application. Just, you know, design it through. Wonderful. This, this works really well. Um, at least I think it does. All right, day's over. Um, yeah, there's nothing happening in the meantime, obviously. Nobody's in the office. And we're not gonna hire a designer, just uh, uh, an artist, just yet. If anything, we're gonna hire another programmer. And pa -bam. Wait, designers, why is she not really working? This place looks nice. She's a little bit slow, I gotta say. I don't, I don't like what I'm seeing here. Hey, we need another designer. Anyway, promote, yes. Just let her do her thing. And release. Okay, how about I'm assigning this to the programmer as well? Yeah, I guess we're faster together. We have a day left, meaning... Wait, why are you not working? I can can concentrate with other teams around me all the time. Ah, okay, that's that's a good indicator. Fine, I, I will listen and I will give the designers their own room. How about that? Um, I'm nothing but, what would you say, understanding? All right. Uh, toggle walls. Yeah, that's fine. We don't need the walls right now. Okay. Time to put some walls down. We're gonna put the designer office right over here. We have some extra money, so that we can spend. Let's put a proper door here to reduce the noise between the different offices. And uh, we're gonna move the desk over. Move furniture over here. Uh, put it like... Hmm. How would I like the layout to be? Maybe two there, two there. We could put up to four people into the room, I think, without too much noise. I think that would work. We're gonna switch this team to designers and this team um, to programmers, just so we know what's up. Good. Which reminds me that we should probably uh, replace this thing. There's a thing. Replace furniture with a, what is it? Uh, calculator because I'm a programmer as you can see you get different work boosts for the different types in this case a lead a programmer uh, Get the biggest bonus on a calculator whereas a phone gets the biggest boost as a marketer, but look at that noise You do not want anyone around there. Anyway, here's your calculator. Enjoy Oh, yeah, right that vending machine. Let us move this to the side. So it's not too loud same with the fan move that over here Luckily, it doesn't cost extra. Oh yeah, right! We should probably change the room colors too. Let's uh, keep that... Hmm... What about a, like a dark purple? That sounds good. I'll go with this. And we're gonna also, uh, because we're nice, we're gonna uh, duplicate 
this. We're going to duplicate the shelf, the bookshelf, because that always gives a nice boost. Same with a plant, and same with a lamp. I, I like having lamps around. They're not necessary. I think your workers, for the most part, don't care if you have windows in. But since I didn't build any windows, I should probably do that. All right. I'm going to have large windows between them. Yeah, two windows should do fine. I'm, I'm, I think we're good with that. And while we're at it, we should also put a... Hmm, maybe some small windows here at the side. Yeah, I forgot to put the windows in there first, so... Actually, no, that was a big window. Never mind. Oh, well, good enough. I, li I like our little office here. This looks like it will do fine. Also reminds me, I don't have a toilet. Oh, staff is unable to reach this floor lamp. Well, and let me move the plan to the side. That's better. Yeah, we haven't really uh, built a toilet yet, and that is one of those things you kind of need. Eh, I know, I know. It's it's silly. <laughs> Toilets at work. <laughs> Am I right? Ab absurd, I would say. Absurd. Okay, not a transparent door for this one. We're going to go with a plain old regular standard door. Let's not get carried away. And... Yeah, a small window. Perfect. Uh, it's the desert. Nobody can really look inside. We don't need a lamp that just costs electricity. And we do want to save money where we can, if not, you know, completely necessary or uh, if it doesn't have a big advantage. So let's see. Bathroom. Let us put in a toilet. Like this. And a sink so you can wash your hands. And yeah, that's good enough. And a toilet paper roll. I like I like that the toilet paper roll gives a mood boost. That's exactly what you need. I mean, my mood would be pretty shitty if there was no toilet paper. Not, not gonna lie. Um, room construction material. Ooh. Yes, let's go with some tiles. That seems appropriate. Maybe even tiles for the wall? Can I can I do that? Let's see. Um, interior. Nope, just some really fancy looks. Oh well, no, nothing else is needed. So, uh, let's go back to developing things. Um, yeah, we spent a good amount of money. So, we have our designers. Um, we're working on this car logistics application fairly quickly. We can switch to this now. Now, oh, look at that. Art and code. They're both split up. I was not aware that that was a thing. Huh. Art. We don't really have artists, but I guess the designer can work on that. Hmm. Excellent. Some of your electronics are affected by the heat. Oh, boy. I mean, it's 82 in here. Shouldn't be too bad, but sure. Let's uh, duplicate. Where is it? Duplicate the fan, even though it's a little bit loud. That should bring down the volume. All right, Lena Harrison isn't very skilled in 2D art. Yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that. I'm not entirely sure why we even have... Uh, why are you not working on code at this point, I guess? Okay. We're gonna need an artist for our future projects, but for now... Oh shit, it's a day overdue. Oh no. Well, that sucks. I, I It took longer than I thought it would. Oh well, that's what I get. You know what? Let's promote it. Yep, it's fine. Going in the beta and we're releasing it. Wow, for a net worth of minus 5,000. That was not worth my time. I gotta keep a better eye out how many artists we need. All right. Embedded systems, designers and programmers required one. Uh, cost per buck, $12. Late penalty, 3000 When done, 7000 Okay, I can do this. Programmers and designers, work on that. pa -bomb. All right. Um, sure, let, let them work together on it. I mean, it makes sense to put programmers and designers into the same room to make sure that stuff gets done properly. Otherwise, the designers just have some crazy re requirements for the programmers that the programmers can't do. So if you put them together, the programmers can tell the designers that they're crazy and, you know, won't do their bidding. All right, let's promote this now. And sure, we might as well fix a few bucks and release it. 7,000 bucks. Okay. So far, so good. We're kind of making enough money when we don't fuck up the contract. If we fuck it up, of course, we're ruining everything. Absolutely. We're immediately grabbing our next project. Which would be, what is that? Uh, a embedded system again. Yeah, let's let's do that. 
And let's go ahead and hire maybe another designer or programmer. I think having another programmer would be a good idea. I just have myself as of right now. So let's hire another programmer. All right, system specialization, and we're gonna bring that up to, yeah, 3,500 It's the salary we're willing to pay. And we're gonna spend 2,400 looking for one. It's a good chunk of money we're willing to throw out here, but I hope it's worth it. All right, look, 76% skills. Uh, Jessica Lyons, ooh, look at all this code. I like that. Um, personality interview, how are we doing um, on the programmers? Ability bad. Oh, that's that's a bummer. How about Lindsay? Ooh, culpability good. Extrovert and goofy. That sounds good. You're gonna be working with me. Uh, no, 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 don't look again. Hire. Whoops, my bad. All right, so we have another programmer. Excellent. Let's go ahead and duplicate this now. Um, I'm not entirely sure where to put this. Yeah, this looks good. That shall do. And I hope it's not too loud. I think I think the programmers will be fine together as long as they are are on their own team. That's okay. So managing my own teams. Yep, that's their sign. Their compatibility 106%, meaning they get a nice big boost um, on that. Oh, crunch mode is still on. Whoops! I should turn that off. That's gonna make employees really really unhappy. All right, beautiful. It's the second day. Uh, on day two, we don't pay any wages, so that's good. Time to develop this. And yep, it's just just code. Just code. Doesn't really make sense to have the designers working on this then. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take another app like Embedded Systems. Looks good. Uh, for now, just... I guess that the programmers can work on it too eventually, but for now it's just the designers that are gonna be working on it. And we're working on the alpha. Yeah, this is going great. And we're switching, we're gonna promote this, and we're gonna switch to development. Meaning we're gonna take the programmers out of the equation. We're gonna work on both things. I guess we can release the beta like that. Perfect, okay. So as you can see, we kinda got our, let's call it, uh, bearings. This is looking looking fairly good so far. Uh, nobody's complaining. We're making a decent amount of money. We have some savings. Uh, we cannot, I think we can buy shares for what they're worth. We could buy stocks from other companies or sell our own um, for what that's worth. Um, yeah, we don't want to do that. We can take a loan of up to 100,000, but <laughs> the monthly payment is really high. Something like, what is it? Uh, 24 months, yeah, $6,000 per month. And last time it broke my neck. Actually, it broke my neck twice so far. So I'd like to completely avoid that if possible. For now, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna try our best to avoid that um, and hire up more people and eventually start working um, on our own project as well as um, contract work. Contract workers paying for the development of our other projects. And our projects should obviously kind of um, make sense in terms of the skills we have. That's why I'm making sure that I'm hiring only the best of the best. Something along those lines. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the intro to the uh, company. I hope this one lasts longer. In any case, thanks so much for watching. I'm Weasel. I'm out and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.